Jackie Chan was 47 years old when he made this movie in 2001. Today at 54, he's still doing very high octane action films. And back with me to talk more about this film and Jackie Chan is our co-host Peter Fang. Let me ask you something. How has, would you say that Jackie Chan has done without a comedian as a co-star in some of his later films? Well, he's, he hasn't done as well. I, he's, he's made a number of other films where he's the leading man not paired with Owen Wilson or Chris Tucker. Uh, uh, the, the Tuxedo is one. Uh, the Medallion is another. In, in those films, he's been paired with an American actor, but not a comedic one. Jennifer Love Hewitt in one case, Claire Forlani in the other. And um, his comic persona hasn't adapted as well to... Uh, the idea of possibly being a romantic lead opposite these female co-stars. Um, and that's part of why in these Rush Hour films, it's not just that Chris Tucker and Owen Wilson are the comedians, but they are also carry most of the burden for creating the romantic tension in the films. So Hollywood still has a little bit of a problem, with Jackie Chan anyway, uh, creating him as a, uh, making him a sexy leading man. Has his uh, success, though, in Hollywood films, has that helped other Asian actors, do you think? Well, I think it's helped other actors from Hong Kong to make the transition into American mm. films. Jet Li has followed and has made American films. Chow Yun-Fat, of course, has come and made American films. But in a way, I think all the, the presence of all these actors who have been imported from Hong Kong has, in a way, diverted attention from all the homegrown talents. So I don't think it has helped Asian-American actors develop into leading men mm -hmm. and women in these films. So if before they were stuck behind the white movie stars uh, made up to look Asian, now they're stuck behind Hong Kong actors, who foreign actors over here. who have come over. Mm. And the message, unfortunately, is still that when Jet Li or Jackie Chan is in a film, they're clearly not Americans. They're here to solve a crime and then they're going to go home. Mm -hmm. uh, and so the issue of how they participate in the American landscape is not really worked out in these films. Mm -hmm. uh, so the idea that Asians are always the perpetual foreigners still lingers in a lot of these films. Mm. Well, let's move on. Up next, a complete change of pace, a very moving drama about three generations of Chinese women living in San Francisco. This movie based on a best-selling book and one of the big movie hits of 1993.